we doing here? Yeah. Well, we're going to have some fun in the city. Come on. Yeah, stay. At first, I would think that kids, ceramic museum, dangerous combination. Actually, there's so much for a kid to see here. People are really surprised by it. <laughs> Most of the pieces are on a children's level, so they can really get up close to the pieces. They see animals throughout, which kids love seeing animals. They really seem to enjoy that, and they love looking for things. Are you guys ready for a scavenger hunt? Yeah! Okay, let's go. Now we are going to find how many dragons do you see? What about this one? Is there any dragons here? You found ten. One. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, sixteen. What is your guess? How many dragons did you find? Nine, nine for Nathan. 16. 16 for Sebastian. Okay. They really enjoy what they learn. They don't realize they're learning, but they're learning about art, learning about culture and history at the same time. What are we looking for now? The cat. cat. The Garden Museum is the largest ceramic museum in North America, and we're the only Canadian ceramic museum. We have a lot of collections from all over the world, from contemporary pieces to pieces 3,000 years old from the ancient Americas. What is the last animal that we have to find? The eagle. The eagle. It's right there. Okay. What are those called? Talons? It's claws. Look at that. Talons. Talons. Wow. Talons. So we're done. Are we done our scavenger hunt? And it says, which is your favorite? Which one was your favorite? Uh, the eagle. None. The eagle? We run family days every Sunday where we introduce children to the museum through scavenger hunts and special tours for children as well as craft tables so they can do paper crafts but also predominantly ceramics. Working with clay um, with one of our professional artists. There's a great clay room downstairs at the Gardener where families can come and work with clay on Wednesday, Fridays and Sundays. So it's a drop-in uh, for two hours. Later they can come back and have it glaze the pieces. I'm going to okay. give you a piece of clay She's this going big. going to give you a piece okay. of clay. And I'm going to cut it into thirds. So we take our clay, we kind of make it look like a, like a, almost like a hot dog. Try your fingertips, maybe. Yeah. Just bend like that. Maybe Just you can squish it here. Squish it. To give your face pointy mouth. If you want it to have um, texture on your body. You could even take one of these nets. Oh, so that can give you your right. body texture. Right, right mm. here. See that mm. here? So that's what this is here. Mm. It almost looks like that. chocolate milk, doesn't it? I've given up on making a dragon. That's not going to happen. I'm going to make something a lot easier. A bowl. So I can put my rings in. Or jewelry or something. Oh, I like your... Is that a snake or a dragon? Snake. Cool. So who would have thought learning a little bit about art and culture and history could be fun? And I'm having fun right here with my kids um, at the Gardner Museum. And okay, I've given up on the dragon. Is that okay, Audrey? I'm gonna I'm gonna try making the bowl. <laughs>